Hi there, I'm Nick. I'm Akira. And we're here at Combi in Echo Park. Combi is a Japanese sandwich shop with market vegetables and French pastries. One of my favorite tools is the egg slicer. It's oh. German. I like nice things. Got it on Amazon. Very sturdy. Since opening, we've used it thousands of times. I would say every six months or so, we have to get a new one. These little wires might pop eventually, but at home, it'll probably last you at least a few years. The way we cut the egg for the egg salad, we essentially dice it. So we go through it once, and then we turn it and push it through one more time. And then you get perfect little egg dice that turns into piles and piles of egg salad for money. Eat. Looks like money. This is a thermopen. It is a instant read thermometer. It's very effective in measuring the temp of pretty much anything that you probe. The air is currently 81 degrees in here. You can switch it to Celsius, but we use it here specifically for chocolate temperatures and pork cutlet when we cook them. Well, the thermopen's really unique because it's just instantly changes and the fastest way to get a temperature. A lot of the other thermometers that are digital, there's a lag time and the accuracy is not very good, but this one is awesome. This is just chocolate ganache. We make a chocolate ganache tart. Uh, once we cool down the ganache, we have to reheat it to fill them up every day to get everything incorporated back perfectly. It needs to be at a somewhat specific temperature. So we use... We use this guy, the thermopen. What's it at? It's 71. Not ready yet. Not ready yet. We're aiming for like 95 to 100. The consistency where it pours nice and you can like emulsify it all back together and it looks really, really shiny and beautiful. One of my favorite tools in the kitchen is this knife that we actually got from our good friend uh, John Broida over at Japanese Knife Imports here in LA. He engraved it especially for us, so uh, it, it just has a really special place in our hearts. And one of the things that we go through a lot of here is going to be eggplant. We use a Japanese or Chinese eggplant for our eggplant katsu. We're just gonna slice one up here with this wonderful knife that we got from our dear friend. Yeah, this is probably one of the main things I use this for here, actually. We, we go through a lot of eggplant. That's it. This is a right-handed ladle, if that makes any sense. It doesn't make any sense. No one knows what it is, right? There, we have a left and a right-handed ladle, but most Americans are just have the round one. This one allows you to pour without spilling liquid. So it's very, very nice. So it all goes back to not wasting money. You get it in Tokyo. There's a street, right? <laughs> What's the street? There's a street, it's called Kapabashi. You're gonna have to look for it and- It's the coolest street that you, you ever walk down if you like. You can find really street. cool stuff, but you'll be able to find this pretty easily. Now everyone's gonna go to Kapabashi. They can go. They can't read Japanese. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Fair enough. This is a 50 milliliter ladle. There's smaller and bigger ones. And I think it's the best ladle you can buy. You can tell how much someone has worked in the kitchen and what level of kitchen you've worked in if they know how to use a rubber spatula well. This is our favorite tool. We agree. It is basically designed to get all the bits out of any crevice, and that just saves you money. This is the best tool for an aspiring restaurateur. <laughs> and we have it in all different sizes and shapes, but this one's particularly good because one, it's green. The type of plastic you get is important. You don't want ones that melt. So this one is very uh, high temperature. I should know why it has this little dip in it, but I honestly don't know. If anyone knows, let us know. DM us. Where did you, where did you find this one? This small company called Amazon. You can get Ooh. this. Show the world our favorite tool. So it's great for getting stuff out of the container. This is a motion that's pretty basic, but very important. So just to get every little drop to manipulate the liquid and get it in there. If you want your restaurant to have a chance, you will care about getting this out. So I worked for a guy named Paul Kahn in, in Chicago for a little while. He nerds out about this stuff sometimes and apparently it can be as much as 2% of your food costs over the course of say a year if every single time 
that you empty a container, you use a rubber spatula to, to get every last little bit out of there. Like even this little bit on the top here, what are we gonna do with that? Yeah, see this is a strong move. Thanks Paul. And that's it, should do it. Everyone should do it. Thanks for checking out all these things that we use every day and we couldn't go a day without them, I don't think. We'll see you soon here at Columbia.